I know this place. The village is not far away to the right. to our necks in it. They're everywhere. We're holding this gate, but I think the others have been overrun. Do you know where the captain is? He headed for the center of the village. Sounded like it wasn't going well over there. You should go and help him.
not wasting any time. The puppet he confronts. It is not like the others. It's more likely to be the puppet master. He looks like a dead walker general. He's probably leading the assault on Valvador. All of this power he animates with, it belongs to me. It was stolen and twisted by your miserable magicians. It is time to take back what is mine by right. If you're planning to take care of him like all the others, sounds good to me. Prince Arundel won't last long facing that kind of monster. He is using more power than thou wilt allow me to deploy. I can take care of myself, and here's my plan. I'm gonna come at him with everything I've got. Killing their general is gonna screw up our enemies big time. Let's go do it. Ah! 
That was one tough death's head. But it won't command anyone now. Without their general, the dead walkers should leave us alone for a while. But they'll reorganize, so we can't stay here. You're right, mercenary. Let's use the time to leave. It's now or never if we're going to get to Karabthas. My father and the armies of the Free Nations should be there. If we hurry, we may be able to participate in the mother of all battles and finally push back the Ice Lords. If thou dost throw thyself into this battle, the only thing that thou wouldst find is thy death, and the only chance thou hast for saving this world will disappear with thee. Their armies will not win. He knows this, but that is not what motivates him. He is seeking his father's approval. He wants to buy the crown by delivering us to his king. He believes we are at his command. But he is mistaken. I only serve and live for the world heart. Thy elven city is closer. I can feel it. Forget these suicidal battles. If thou join with them, thy so-called friends will end up turning against thee out of fear or envy. Captain trusts me. He listens to me and knows what decisions to make. He'll back me up. The good little soldier who would give his life for his captain. Dost thou truly believe it is reciprocal? Thy captain sees money and the survival of his precious company first. He has no vital need for thee, and that would always be one share less. Thou hast no more choice. Thou must hasten to the world heart and purify it. It is thine only chance. Do combat there, and if thou art not slain, at least one of thy companions, if not all of them, will betray thee to try to control or study the power I bring thee. Vulcan? Vulcan? You were far away. Is it the demon? He was talking to you, wasn't he? Yes. It happens sometimes. You have to make a decision soon. Will you join us in the battle at Karalthas? I don't know yet. I understand. It's been a long day. I'll let you think it over for a while. Let me know when you've made a decision. I think we should listen to Prince Arundel and go with him to Karlthas. The great elven army and what is left of the human army in this part of Vertiel are now gathering at Karlthas. Separately, none of these troops stood a chance, but united. Well, in any case, it's the only hope we have left. Reinforcements from the Freeborn Blades and Red Scribes will help, and so will you from what I've seen. And even if I don't approve of all the strategic choices made by my sovereign these last few years, I think he'll rise to the occasion now that he can no longer retreat. He knows the lands around Carol Thass perfectly, so I'm sure he will bring the battle onto terrain that will favor us. And since you're curious to know more about what happened to you, my people's scholars are famous. They can surely help you. You've got it all figured out. I believe we can manage to hold the Deadwalker army back this time, though it's a bit early to start celebrating. I think we ought to follow the prince to Carathas. 
If you want to get to the World Heart, we'll need to go by there. But the Prince's company seems both unnecessary and dangerous. Believe me, I know his type all too well. Invested with a mission, he is soon overwhelmed by... probably named by some obscure prophecy. In the name of his family, or because of an idealized vision of his future duties as sovereign, he will give his all. In other words, all his imbecility. Chasing after glory and honor, unprepared and unprotected, he will only lead us to disaster. Seeing the shit we're in, I don't think he's doing it just for the glory. He's got an interest in having everybody survive. And in making it look like everyone has survived entirely due to his talents, and not those of a mercenary who can produce flames and defeat a general of the Deadwalkers. Do you really believe he wants you around just because he enjoys your company? Not to mention the increasing threat implied by our friends dressed all in red. What do you suggest we do? When we get to Carol Thass, we better give them the slip and head to Blackfrost's domain. Why should we go down there? Because those lands are positioned quite close to the City of the Elves, and like all the lands of the Ice Lords, it's a point of entry into the World Heart. We'll be able to break camp soon. Where's our next objective? For now, we're going to stick with the Red Scribes. They haven't paid us yet, and they won't until we reach Carol Pass. In any case, that's where we're headed. I sent Wolf on ahead of us a few weeks ago to see if he could find fresh volunteers for us, but I don't think there's much hope of that. This war is looking worse and worse for us. In ten years fighting, the Dead Walkers haven't lost a single battle. I suppose we can hide for a while. But considering what's left of Vertiel, that would be like hiding in a pile of ashes. We have to come up with some alternatives. And for now, I can only think of one. The demon. For the moment, it's the only card we have left to play. Thy captain is less stubborn than thee. But thinks I should perhaps have chosen him as a vessel. He is the best weapon we have. Since he's been with me, We've beaten a Juggernaut and a Deadwalker General. He could be the thing that changes the course of this war for us. I never know if it's you or it that's talking to me. But I feel like we have the same goals. So let's go to Carol Pass. We'll link up with our brothers in arms and try to find a way to access the World Heart. I'm not going to pretend this is the best plan I've ever made. To tell you the truth, it's not even a plan. I guess we're going to have to defer to this demon. I can't just leave. The prince is waiting to hear my decision. There you are, at last. So, have you made your decision? We will go together to Karathas, but once there our paths must part. I have to find the world heart and purify it. I hope that you will change your mind on the way. We will need you.
It is but a stage. What good it did them? Now that I am revealed, the sorcerers will covet this power. As do thy supposed allies. Thou shouldst beware of them and their weakness. Let nothing stop thee from preserving thyself, lest we finish as did the dragons. Perhaps it is time I took things in hand. Falcon, have you seen something? They use thee. Coming, Vulcan. Your captain will be wondering where we are. Huh? Uh, yes, of course. Let's go. There you are, sire. Right. Change of plan. Seeing how cold it is. It will come as no surprise to you to learn that the dead walkers have already been here. They're still close. We must rejoin my father's army as swiftly as we may. I think we already found them. Take a look around us. There are survivors. Apparently, they are camped not far from here. This soldier will lead us to them. Prince Arundel, my lord, can it be you? Soldier, what happened here? Is the king with you? The dead walkers took us by surprise. The cold and the ice. We stood no chance. Almost all of the city has been invaded by the ice. My father, where is the king? I... I know not, your highness. But a few of us were able to escape. Lord Commander Valen has built a camp close by the city. Valen is here. Take us to his camp. By your leave. Follow me, my lord. Prince, we had lost all hope of seeing you return safe. We have no word from Bastion. Bastion is lost, Valen. We came into this war too late. The General of the Alliance gave his life that I should escape with Relmar. The Deserter. What business did he have at Bastion? The Deserter was fighting, while you and your wondrous army waited warm and safe, sat upon their asses. I hope the result is pleasing to you, Valen. Silence, both of you. Relmar saved my life, Valen. For now you will consider him pardoned. By your will, my lord. And I see that you are escorted by the Freeborn Blades. In truth, they are escorting the Red Scribes. But their presence is our good fortune. They have already once put the dead walkers to rout in the marshes. This man slew one of their generals before my very eyes. I will tell you more of this later. Now I must speak with my father. Where is he? No one knows, my prince. The king was still in the royal palace when the river Estelduin fell upon the city. The river? What happened? Twas like a great wave that froze all that it touched. We had seen the approach of the Deadwalker's vanguard four days before, 
and we had raised Keraltos' defenses in preparation. Not even the sight of ten juggernauts would have feared us, but we never dreamt that an Ice Lord would come to lead the assault himself. He walked calmly to within an arrow's flight of the gates, never once speaking. And then the river rose up from its bed to form a gigantic cloud that hung up over Keraldos. We understood our peril too late. Near all of our soldiers stood atop the ramparts or in the streets when the ice cloud fell. All were frozen where they stood. That was his signal to launch their assault, but we were already vanquished. We fought to cover our retreat. We must find the king! I know, my prince, but every entry to the city is guarded, and we cannot risk being discovered. It is clear we will not travel 200 paces if we do not first slay the sentinels close to the encampment. Only then will we be able to attempt to enter the city and save your father. I'm sorry, but you'll be going without the Freeborn Blades. Our mission here is completed. We will only be able to go on a reconnaissance mission. I had men in Karlthas. If they're still alive, I must do all I can to get them out. But if it's confirmed that they're dead, my company are leaving. The Red Scribes have been delivered to Karlthas. Our contract has been fulfilled. We are only delivered outside the city gates of Karalthas, Captain. The gold that we owe you lies inside its walls. We have brought you as close as is possible. I will not send my men to their slaughter. You are in the hands of the Elven army in Arliestas, as was promised. The fact that you failed in your mission is not my problem. You can keep your god's damn gold. There's nowhere left in this cursed region to spend it anyhow. That is regrettable, Captain. Your experience would have been a boon to us. I can only hope you will reconsider your decision. Some of my soldiers tell me that the Deadwalkers have taken prisoners. Perhaps your own men are amongst those unhappy souls. Hmm. Vulcan, we'll make camp close to the south gate. You go and question those lads. With a little luck, one of them might have seen something. Understood, Captain. Wait! Wait! There are many powerful creatures around us. How powerful? One of them feels too strong, even for you. The others are less able to resist you. You should start with the weaker ones and absorb their energy before taking on the big one. Do you think you can handle it? I'll let you know after I've tried. Good day, even if the expression isn't necessarily appropriate. Show me what you have to sell. Alas, not...
Well, well. Show me what you have. Ah, uh, la. Again. Show me what you uh, like. Can I have a look at your stock? Did you see any freeborn blades in Carol Thus after the Deadwalker's assault? Any what? Freeborn blades. Mercenaries like me. Difficult to say if they were mercenaries, but I saw some humans, yes. Some of them got captured by the living dead. Others... Anyway, I don't need to draw your picture. Do you know where they were taken? Only thing I saw was that they were split into several groups. For the rest, I was too busy staying alive. What can you tell me about your commander? I hardly know him. I wasn't in his unit. As far as I know, he wasn't that high up, but he's the highest ranking officer we have left. Anyway, I have to admit that he managed to bring us together, set up camp, and get a bit of cohesion going on us fugitives. That's not too bad. 
How did you manage to make it through the battle? Bit of luck, just like with everyone who survived. I pulled guard duty so many times in a row that I was sent on R&R. &R. If you really want to know, I was in a steam room when the attack came, having a really hot bath. It was horrible. The deathly silence that fell on the city just like that, with just that awful cracking of ice. Anyway, I jumped into my uniform and ran like crazy until I found my commander. And now here I am. Nothing really heroic about it, I'm afraid. How are things going in the camp? Bah. We're short of everything, and morale's not great. But we're together and alive. And most of us are really pissed off. In a way, you could say everything's fine. Even if I heard that the survivors from the human army were kicking up a bit of a fuss. I'm leaving. Up. I bet. Yeah, well, seeing what's left of the... Let me see what you've made this time. See what you
We got a problem. I believe we could best them. But the racket would only draw others here. That is to be avoided. We have to find another way. I've seen everything. The dead walkers kicking each other's asses. I beg your pardon? What? This one talks. What the hell are you, a lich? A zombie scribe? We've only known one another a few seconds, and already you insult me. Charming, I must say. If you aren't one of them, then what are you? I am an immortal, superior spirit. And you? So you're an ice lord. I thought you'd be taller. Or something. I have absolutely no involvement with that bunch of cheapskate conjurers, and I would never humiliate myself by working for them, since that's what you seem to be suggesting. Yeah? Rotting flesh sticking out bones? I'm sure as hell looked like a damn dead walker to me. Tut tut. Did no one ever tell you not to judge a book by its cover? It's true that you're young, but use your wits. Would I be fighting my own troops if what you suggest were the truth? All I can be sure of is that you're not really alive, and that makes you my enemy. And what's more, you're in my way. body will not survive more punishment. In all my 6,000 years, I have never witnessed such power. You seem to be as unique a being as I am. What is the source of your power? What are you? I've created a new form of magic based on fire. Ah! Do you follow the seven laws of entropic change, or the conservation of telluric flux capacitors? Uh, yeah. W what you said. That's what I thought. Never mind. You want to keep your little secrets, but I shall take great pleasure in discovering what they are. So I'm definitely coming with you at least for as long as it takes to find out what is really within your body. What if I say no? Well, I suppose we could go back to beating each other up. Though I suspect you'll get bored of it eventually. 
I did mention to you that I'm immortal, didn't I? So why don't we avoid such a futile waste of time and just try to get on? You'll start to like me in a while. Just you wait and see. So how shall we begin our newfound friendship? I have to go into Caliphas. You seem to know your way around. Come with me. But of course, there is no finer guide than myself. I know a secret way into Caliphas.